Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 85. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 82 to 86. Hey, this YouTuber said, I have a little data set uh, and I download it every day and I always have to find the invoices, the paid and the ones that are not paid. And there's always two entries. Here's what was owed and if it has been paid, uh, there's an entry for the paid. Here's uh, an invoice, oops, but there's no corresponding um, been paid line, a record. Here, this is the invoice amount due. Here's the amount that's been paid. So if we look through this list, we can see that there's one and two. Now he said he has a huge list, so this is just a little small example here. Well, the trick is, you want, um, is we want to add a new column here because we want to isolate um, the, the, the only the records that have not been paid and then copy those somewhere else because we need to do with them. So we're going to add a new column and create a true false formula. Highlight the whole range and at the in the cell at the top. And here's the logic. Are both pay and original mount here, right? Here's the original mount. Here's the paid. Here's the original mount. Oh, oh, oh there's no paid. So in the light colored cell at the top, I'm going to use the OR function equals OR equals OR, and we simply have to ask, um, is this cell directly to our left, one cell to the left, equal to this one, or, comma, is this cell equal to this one? And what this does, the OR function, if this is true or this is true, either one is true, the, whole, the OR function will return a true. And this formula works because then uh, a single number at the top or a single number at the bottom uh, will also be counted. And uh, so that formula works all the way down. I'm going to hold Control and tap Enter to populate the entire highlighted range. And sure enough, I get a false here because it's looking, hey, is this one equal to that one or is that one equal to that one? And both of them come out to be false. Let's just highlight that and hit our F9 key to see if that's false. And then highlight that and hit our F9 key. You can see they're both false. So then the whole OR, if I hit F9, returns a false. I'm going to hit Escape because if you hit Enter right now, it'll put that false into a formula. Um, whereas this one, you can see that when I highlight that and hit F9 to evaluate, F9 evaluate is the evaluate key, and then I hit this one and hit F9. See, that one's false, but OR only needs one of them to be true. I'm going to click Escape. Now, there's a bunch of ways you could isolate these. One simple way is to sort. In 2003, you just click on the A to Z button on the toolbar. In 2007, you can right-click Sort right click sort and point to the A to Z button and sure enough all the falses will come to the top and then you simply highlight the records you want copy and then paste somewhere else you could also filter if I want to control Z Z Z there we go. You could also filter. Let's convert this to a, a table. In 2003, it's called a list. In 2003, you use Control L, which still works. Or in 2007, you use Control T. And if you have headers here and it's a proper database, it'll work fine. Then you could simply uh, filter up down, and there's a little uh, checkbox down. And we're going to uncheck True and then click OK. And then simply we can highlight the records here. And when we copy, notice that uh, when you have it filtered, it, it's not going to copy everything in between like with a subtotal. You can see that the dancing ants are dancing around just those individual records and then you could go somewhere and paste those. So that's how to check uh, our both pay and original amounts here with a true false using the OR function. All right, see you next trick.